Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Europa Universalis 4. So, uh, we're back at the start screen. If you saw the last series, which if you aren't watching these in order, or you just stumbled on this first video of the playlist, uh, was the Ragusa Trade Federation campaign, uh, version 1. If I've, you know, you're watching this way in the future and I've done it again, then it's the very first version. Uh, it was a bit of a problem, a bit of a mistake, a bit of an oops uh, happened there at the end. And so we're moving on, and... I want to think about the Ragusa Trade Federation campaign again before I go back to it. I think I'm going to do that. I'm still playing around the Ansbach idea too, but that's not going to be what we're going to do. Uh, instead, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fulfill the Italian ambition. Mostly because I have never done it. Mostly I, I, I played English countries or Spanish countries. And so I'm just trying to branch out myself to do something more interesting. And so I've never done the Italian ambition. Uh, there are plenty of them out there. I've seen um, parts of Arumbas, but I didn't really watch it through. So, you know, I'm just going to take my own take on it. We're going to start with Tuscany. And I think... Whoa. 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 Okay. Um, not Florence. How much does I love Florence? Where are you? Where are you? Maybe I mean Florence. They take out Tuscany. Those silly devils. We'll play Florence. Florence is the closest to Tuscany. Anyway, we're going to start with Florence, which used to be called Tuscany. Um, and the reason is because I've been reading everywhere that says this is the most interesting to play for a number of reasons. One, um, the 655 ruler is pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, you have Tuscan ideas. So while it is called Florence, there are Tuscan ideas. Does Siena have Tuscan ideas? No, they have the boring old Italian ideas. Ooh. We'd rather play with the, uh, with the Tuscan ideas because Tuscan ideas, the very first one is tech and idea costs minus five. It's amazing. Um, mercenaries is no big deal. Interest per annum is fine. Yearly prestige is good. Trade efficiency, of course, we know we love trade. Production is whatever. National manpower. But then the ambition is discipline plus five, which is not bad. But it'll switch to the Italian ideas later. So we're going to get ideal costs still. Um, tech costs will not be there, but by the time that happens, it's not a problem. Mercenary maintenance, of course. Uh, spy stuff, there'll be fort stuff. Uh, prestige is there later. We get an, a more diplo uh, relation. Civility cost, but then the end is you get legitimacy and republican tradition. And I believe that you get better pips. But anyway, we're going to form reform Italy. We like Italy. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're Western, obviously. We are a duchy, which is perfectly fine. We're Catholic, unsurprisingly. We are a republic ind independent nation, but import we are an oligarchic republic, which uh, will be interesting. It used to be a noble republic. We'll just see how it goes. It's a little bit different. I don't care about the new world. Uh, okay, fine. We'll have a reign in the new world. It doesn't really matter. You could have the Italian ambition and still have a random new world, so we'll do it. It was kind of fun seeing the random new world on the last one. Well, we will, maybe we'll be a, a, um, a colony power, power. I don't know. We'll try it out. Come on, Europa. I mean show people some gameplay of this one. Okay, thanks. We're still going to play Florence. Let's do this. We are going to play an Iron Man. Because reasons! And the cloud. Because I don't trust saving the local after the, the crap with the CK2 thing. Uh, this will be uh, Iron... Florence! Even though, in my heart, I am CNEs. Sorry, it's a better city. It just is. Although in my true heart of hearts, I am the sun. My grandmother probably rolled over when I said that in my heart I'm Sienese. A northerner? All right, let's see what we got. First off, we have eight regiments. We have eleven boats. Of those boats, six of them are transports, four of them are galleys, and one trade ship. Horrid, absolutely horrid. We can already take a decision. Right at the get-go, we can declare the statute in restraint of appeals. That's amazing. The Papal State hates me to begin with. That's not good. Really. Siena, Luca, Ferrar, Urbino, and the Papal State are all going to hate me. We gain prestige for it, though. Until the end of the game, we get national unrest minus one, no lowered stability costs, greater prestige, and no Papal influence. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Are you rivaled? Oh, you will be soon. No Savoy, Provence, and Venice. But you're hostile. That's amazing. Oh, sure, because they want to connect their two lands. Yeah. We're going to declare the statute and restrain the appeals. 
What do I care? We can pass the Dissolution of the Monasteries Act. Well... I should take the thing to promote our prestige. Stability cost plus 5. We already had it minus 10. Sure! <laughs> what a weird start. Um, it's my only thing we could do, so let's do it. For now. Uh, what's our, our income look like? 2.9 2 ducats at full maintenance. So we'll definitely be picking up an advisor. I'm not sure which one yet. What's our choices here? What's the back button? Let's see, okay. Uh, they're all twos. That's that's disgusting. Can't afford that. Uh, trade efficiency, better relations over time. That would help deal with everything we just did. Or Diplo Rep. Those are all good choices. Better relations over time. What is there a ticker on that negative 100 or is it just negative 100? No, it is yearly. So better relations over time would actually help. Um, better relations over time guy or Diplo Rep. Diplo Rep is good too. What is our Diplo Rep right now? One? Because we're a member of the HRE. We could have two right off the bat. That's pretty strong. We're going to do that. So we're going to have two Diplo Rep right off the bat. That's excellent. Thank you, Gonza. We're improving our prestige. We need to declare some rivals. Ferrara, Genoa, and Mantua. Not a surprise. Genoa is here. Ferrara is here. Mantua is here. Sort of surprising, not Sienna. Sienna does hate me, but that's just because of the statute and restraint of appeals. Uh, the Emperor has no opinion on me one way or the other. Let's open all these bad boys. Apparently we cannot uh, create trade leagues. Because we're an oligarchic republic? We're just a plain old republic. Oh, it says oligarchic. Can we do royal marriages? No. Okay, so that's changed. Tuscany was a noble republic. We're an oligarchic republic, which is fine. We don't need, we don't need them. We could probably overcome that. We've got 25 more points. It'll only be 9 points. Hopefully they won't be neutral by that point. We could rival one of their rivals, maybe. France, Burgundy, and the Ottomans. I mean, you know. Something. What, are, what is our rival choice here? Let's see in the Papal States. No, actually we can't, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, I think it's clear we rival the Papal States. And then I think we have to rival Mantua. And then we have to get to Mantua through Ferrara. Alright, yep, that's good. And then we have to pick a, a power that's greater than us, which basically we do. It could be the Papal State, or it could be Genoa. Man, I don't know. Either choice is not ideal. But the Papal States, Army and Navy are smaller than Genoa's. And they really, really hate us. Well, alright. We are, whoops, we are going Protestant. There's no question about that. We don't care about those guys. Okay. Um, what ideas are we going to go with first? We gotta start planning that out. Kind of an advanced exploration really doesn't do it for me. If we're going to go Protestant, religious might not be a bad idea. It would give us um, Cassus Valley against all of the Catholics. Missionaries we're going to need to convert. Stability cost is good. Missionary strength is good. People influence. That's funny. Prestige. Missionary strength versus heretics, which is basically what we're doing. Culture, oh, that's right. They're heretics. They're not heathens. Today's fault won't help, but that's okay. So that's certainly a possibility. Humanist, of course, is another good one. Because there's going to be a lot of heretics. Ooh, plus ideal costs? What do you combine with? If we got trade ideas, it'd be even further idea cost reduction. Ooh, that's sort of sexy. What is a trade idea? Global trade power, merchants. Oh, we've got that in the Ragusa campaign, of course. That is sort of tempting. We could go humanist and then a quick jump over to trade. Okay, then that would be, I mean, we'd have our idea and tech cost reduction, mercenary maintenance, which is no big deal, and interest per annum. We'd have 14 done, so that's 12, and up to yearly prestige. That's that's strong. 
And then the very next thing is more trade efficiency? I like that. Hey, NBC Live Extra, I don't care about you. Stop sending me updates. It's like every time I turn that off, it comes right back on. Development costs and yearly papal influence. Well, we kind of blew the pooch on that one, didn't we? Our yearly papal influence is going to be negative. Yep, negative 7.5. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But I don't care. Let's check out force limits. We have 11 more, so we're going to buy some troops. What's our, com com our uh, makeup here? Six and two. We need two more cavalry, really. Um, we're just going to empty the, the treasury out. But that's fine. We need two more two more cav to get us there. And then we'll just get another uh, knight. Although, two more cav after that would be swell. We have two more boats. Um, wow, galleys. They've raised the price of galleys. Oh, no. I only have seven ducats left. I have a boat that can be used for protecting trade, which is sort of ridiculous. But we're damn well going to do it. I'm in the Genoa node. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. Protect some trade in Genoa. And we will mothball the rest of the fleet. Actually, should we sell the cogs? When am I going to need the cogs? Maybe to attack Corsica or Cagliari. That island, which is, uh, what, Sardinia? I don't remember what that island is called. But that other island, so Corsica or the other island, or even... Well, no, because there's a bridge there, so... We're not going to really need the cogs right away. We might try and sell those. All right, let's look around for allies. Austria. Austria, I think, is a, is a, is a no-brainer. They are the emperor. We should be friends with them anyway. France. France is a maybe. We only have two people. Hmm. Oh, they're closer than Austria. Let's do it. If we can get France. If we can get the big blue blob on our side, all is all is good. Give me these guys. We're gonna mothball these guys. I'm gonna get these guys. I have one ship in my trade fleet. Not exactly the strongest. Oh my god, speed one. I don't think so. Speed four. We don't anticipate being at war for the first little bit. We're going to want to do some counter espionage and stuff like that once we get our alliances secured, but we definitely need to secure some alliances first. I'm not going to be able to Royal, Royal Mary, but that's that's okay. Um, we're going to power through an administrative group, so it does make sense to me to go ahead and focus administrative. So we'll go 11, 8, 7 is perfectly acceptable. Oh, it's so juicy. It's 26 Monarchs points a month. Oh, yeah, we should probably... All right, so trade leagues are starting. Why exactly can I not start a trade league? I don't know. For some reason, I as a republic cannot do that. I find that to be very strange. Ragusa just lists as a republic. It's a merchant republic. Is that it? You have to be a merchant republic to have a trade league? Could be. Novgorod never had one. Novgorod's a grand republic. No, they're a merchant republic too. I can just get screwed out of the Republic game. That's fine. We're not going to join any trade leagues. See if I care. Um, that does remind me, though. I need to uh, embargo people. I think the alliances are more important than the embargo. Um, no, 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 no. You all go there. Get out of there. Uh, Embargoed by Genoa and Gallery. Alright. So Genoa has a trade league already, clearly. Yes. Gallery and Luca. So if I attack either one of them, I'm going to bring Genoa into it. Which is actually good to know for the future. France, are you ready? Look at all these embargoes. Oh, you jerks! Damn barbers. Ooh, we might be able to leave the Empire later. I don't know if we really necessarily want to. But it'll be a choice. Yes, yes, we're going to lose all of these eventually. Hmm, Miguelian in that. In, uh, Uh-oh, I want another negative two. I don't know why. 
Just don't be neutral, France. We could be so much friends. Farrar has already claimed uh, Florence. We need our alliances bad. Here we go, alliance. Here we go. Clap, clap. Austria, what do you say? No, Austria says no. Papal Stay has claimed a rezzo. Urbino has claimed a rezzo. You are a... Why would the vassal of the Papal State... It makes no sense to me. All right, whatever. Any more men? Give me some more infantry. Damn, that barber thing sucks. Did you see how long it takes to build a, a dude here? 74 days. Oh, that's just brutal. Let me get some ships out there. Alliance from Milan. I'm intrigued. Milan is rivaled with Venice, Switzerland, and Ferrara. So we have a common interest in Ferrara. Um, I'm assuming you have them... Why can I not click on you right now? Okay. You have already claimed Modena. So I'd have to race in there and claim it before I could go any farther. Um, I think this is a fine alliance. We shall be allies. We shall be the best of friends. I better not change my chances with France. Because if you count Milan as a powerful ally, we have some counting to redo. My army strength is raised. That's good. Build some more boats as well, once we get the opportunity. Boats, boats, boats! Doo, 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 doo. Wish we could Royal Mary. We'd have our alliance right now. Oh, wow, it's getting worse. Right, we gotta keep doing it. Hmm. I'd like to sow interest in the provinces around me. Uh, sure didn't want to do that. What is it? Oh, it's D. I would like Umbria and Romagna and Urbina. Since we're going to piss off Pope Man, we might as well piss off Pope Man. Okay. Siena would join a trade league. All of a sudden we can... Oh, we could join the Sienese Trade League. Oh, that's so interesting. But I can't... I can't have them... That is so weird for me. Alright, whatever. Play on. This keeps getting worse. It's very confusing. If it would stop being neutral, this would be over. France, believe me, I would have rivaled one of those guys if I could have. Austria says no. How about Hungary? Hungary is easier to attain than Austria. How about an unholy alliance with Venice? Because Venice wants Romania and Urbina, I'm sure. Those are mine. Too bad. Genoa, we hate each other. Uh, Aragon, why not? Well, France, for one. Yeah. The Ottomans? It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Poland! Poland could be done. Real easily. Poland... France would be a hell of an alliance, wouldn't it? Austria, oh, buddy. You're my emperor and all, and I love you. But Poland, France is too good to ignore. We're gonna have to offer... We would have to offer, um... The alliance in the same months to make this a reality. Like, at the exact same time. High prestige, nice. 
but it's doable. I'm gonna run a little long on this one just because the gameplay hasn't been a ton. Those bottom numbers are all the same. And yeah, the top number, the currently positive versus negative reasons keeps fluctuating in a very bizarre way. I don't understand that at all. Papal State has declared war on Provence. Good for us. Poland. Poland will be ready before France. That's fine. Who is this now? Provence would like to get in. Sure. That's fine. Come on, France. I don't want to go too far over. I've already gone a minute over. I might have to suspense. Also, the problem is I don't want to reload the game. That's what's going to happen. Negative six reasons. Poland. There's negative five. Okay. Plenty of room there. I'm worried about the room we have left with France. We only have 28 opinion. That's seven more points. Oh, Lord. That's cutting it close. Better build a boat. Boats, boats, boats. Doodly -doo -doo -dee. Barks. 452 days. It's fine. It went back to negative eight. The bottom numbers are the same. That's what's going, it's 28, 20, and 14. I don't get it, man. France may not be doable. Meanwhile, we're on the door with Poland. Seven more reasons. We only have six more points. They're not gonna say yes. Unbelievable. If they would just not be neutral. Come on, buddy. Just love me. I'm awesome. I'm totally not going to use you in a war. I'm just using you as a deterrent. Mylan, you went to war without me. I'm crushed. How am I supposed to get prestige if I can't go to war with people? That's another thing I don't like about the favor system. To be honest with you. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get there. We're going to be one shy because they're going to continue to be negative. They would just not be neutral. Why are you neutral? Man. Poland, on the other hand, loves us. They would be our ally right now. But we can't do it because as soon as we ally Poland, we won't be able to get France because it'll say, You have a powerful ally. Minus 25. But I'm greedy. I want them both. Oh, poor Novgorodian Trade League. There's nobody up there, honestly, so it's tough. Jesus, 28,000? Oh, there's Frenchmen there. The French are at war? The French are at war. You're allied with the Pope, man? No, it's a separate war. Oof. I'm ignoring the spy game for a minute because I really, 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 really want this, but it's not going to work. I'm only going to get three more points. Damn it. Damn it, France. Maybe that last boat will be all we need in 200 days. All right, we got to cut it here. Unfortunately, we will take a look at this the next time. Maybe the math will redraw itself and I'll instantly have it. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, though. If you did click the like button, it certainly helps, especially on the first one of the series. Give me some comments where you want to see this go, what you're hoping to see. All that kind of stuff really helps, and I, I love it frankly, watching and reading all of your comments to know what's going on. Uh, definitely consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.